I'm Dr. David Anderson, a board-certified pediatric orthopedic surgeon. I have partnered with Kenny Rogers Children's Center in Syxton, Missouri to develop the KRCC Center for Gait and Motion Analysis. And I'm Brandi Dallas. I'm a pediatric physical therapist at the Kenny Rogers Children's Center, and I have over 14 years experience treating patients with neuromuscular disorders. Gait analysis data allows for more accurate treatment recommendations than can be made with visual gait observation alone. The data collected greatly aids us in treatment decisions regarding orthopedic surgery, Botox injection, back of a pump implantation, and other forms of tone management. Unfortunately, the cost and lack of insurance coverage make access to complete three-dimensional gait analysis unaffordable for many patients. Through a partnership with the Missouri Foundation for Health, the state-of-the-art three-dimensional gait analysis lab at the Kenny Rogers Children's Center is now available to many Missouri residents without placing a financial burden on the families in need. The target population for this project includes children and adolescents with cerebral palsy, brain injury, spina bifida, complex movement disorders, bony abnormalities, conditions that cause toe walking, and other neurological or orthopedic conditions affecting walking. Here's how it works. A clinical examination is done to measure the flexibility of joints and muscle strength. Then we record the child walking without wearing any specialized equipment full body and close-up views are taken. If the child has braces, video is taken with and without those braces. Motion analysis measures joint motion, forces, and speed during walking. We place reflective markers on the child's legs and trunk. As the child moves in this testing room, cameras track the movement of the markers and calculate and plot joint angles. Electromyography measures the activity of the muscles. Sensors are taped to the child's muscles to record when various muscles are active and at rest. Pedobarography, or plantar pressure testing, is done to measure the pressures under the foot when standing and walking. And finally, oxygen consumption testing helps determine how much energy a child uses when walking. The child wears a mask over his or her nose and mouth while walking. This measures the amount of oxygen that is inhaled and carbon dioxide that is exhaled. A typical visit takes about three hours. Once the data is processed, the physical therapist and I, the orthopedic surgeon, compare the child's data that's been produced in the gait lab to the data of a typical walker. From this comparison, we are able to provide recommendations for treatment, including bracing, therapy, tone management, and surgery. This information is discussed with the family and provided to the child's referring physician. This is the new standard in treatment of complex walking disorders. We're focusing on maximizing children's function, strength, and quality of life. Schedule an appointment today at the Kenny Rogers Children's Center. Call 573-472-0397.